Hey, so we just left Samsung's unpacked event here in New York City. It's a bit of a madhouse in there, so I wanted to come outside and talk to you a bit about what we just saw. Let's take a look at the three biggest announcements at the show in about two minutes. First off, we've got the Galaxy Note 7, which is obviously the latest in Samsung's Galaxy Note line, and it is easily the most impressive. That's not because it's a game changer, though. If you're walking into this expecting dramatic changes, you're probably gonna be a little disappointed. It does have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset. It does have a curved 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display running at Quad HD. There's a lot going on here, and it's an incredible little package. My personal favorite, though, is what you can now do with the S Pen. So in addition to being able to write on your always on display and sort of use it to jot down notes, you can use it to translate individual words that you see on your screen and record GIFs. So you can actually select parts of your screen, record them and turn them into GIFs, draw on top of them and send them out there. You'll be able to get them in the United States starting on August 19th. That August 19th day is gonna come pretty frequently actually, and that's because that's when you'll also be able to get the new Gear VR. It's no longer white, it's blue and black to reduce the reflections that you might sometimes get in the older model, so generally a more immersive experience. Improved optics as well, the field of view has been widened from 96 degrees to 101, also to give you a more immersive experience. Uh, we do have a couple changes in the design as well. There's more padding around the eye cups, a longer head strap, so it wraps around big heads like mine. The controls have been changed as well. There's a new home button on the side of the Gear VR that you can tap as opposed to holding down the back button to go back to the root menu. The D-pad is also more or less gone. It's just a traditional touchpad now. Then we've got the Gear 360, which is a device that we've met a long, long time ago. This is Samsung's 360 degree camera. We met it alongside the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. It is now coming to the United States. It was previously available in Korea and Singapore, but starting again August 19th, you'll be able to buy one for $349 and create content for what else? Your Galaxy Note and your Gear VR. Really, the thing that sticks with you after an event like this isn't so much the time you spend with the gadgets as it is the level of spectacle that Samsung always brings to the table. The climax, the ending of the show, saw demo tables rising up out of the ground and product demo people sort of banging on tables as though this whole thing was ornately choreographed because it probably was, and it's a whole lot of fun. Hopefully, that spirit carries over into the devices that we're about to play with, so stay tuned for more.